A Troy pastor is speaking out about the gun violence that has claimed the lives of two teenagers already this year. For the first time, we're also hearing from the grandmother of the 16-year-old who was shot and killed in Troy last week. Kumi Tucker has the story you're seeing only on 13. 16-year-old Jalen Gourier Lewis used to sit right here in this pew at United Ordained Church North Central. And tonight, his loss is spurring another call to action. I believe that mothers need to reach out to their sons and speak to them about putting the guns down. Betty Gourier is the grandmother of 16-year-old Jalen, who was shot and killed last week in Troy. It, it, it's been quite a few deaths that... And it's heartbreaking. I'm, I am completely numb right now. I don't know how to feel, but I serve a God that's going to take me through this. Jalen was the second 16 year old to be killed in Troy in just one month. I believe when God wants to get somebody's attention, he takes the most popular one. Jalen's Jalen, the funeral, there's been threats, I know. But Jalen, by Jalen being gone, he's a, he's a sacrificial lamb right now. This curse has to stop somewhere. This epidemic has to stop somewhere. We need to have mothers that are taking time, and fathers as well, spending time with their sons and daughters and encouraging them and showing them the way. They are even worried about safety at Jalen's funeral. I'm tired from years ago of this. I'm tired. I'm tired. How many, how much more? God has sent, God has sent, God sends warnings before disasters. He's sending warnings. In Troy, Kumi Tucker, News Channel 13.